Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and the latest roundup of community creations where this week we're featuring more updated superstar models featuring new hair and face updates, we've got new attires, new championships, brand new creations and some awesome new arenas. Kicking off this week's updates, we're starting out with an updated model for World Heavyweight Champion Damien Priest. As following his appearance at WrestleMania, creator Will Amazing has released an updated version of Priest which sees his model updated to include a new beard, makeup and longer hair. Priest always seems to be looking down on his fellow superstars, on the entire WWE Universe even. Well, as far as Damien's concerned, they should all be cowering before him. He is to be feared and respected. Alongside his regular attire, also included with this one is the special outfit that he wore at WrestleMania as well as recreated his black outfit with the flames. To download it, you can find this one on Community Creations by searching for the hashtag WillAmazing. Also from Will, we have some new updates to the Bloodline, starting with Solo Sokoa as well as released an updated version of Solo that sees his model updated to include his new beard with the hair also updated to feature a longer, messier hairstyle. One thing is for certain with Solo in the ring, we're about to see a beatdown. The second member of the Bloodline to receive an update is Jimmy Uso, as well as also recreated Jimmy's WrestleMania attire with this one featuring his No Yeet shirt. We're seeing a new look of malice in the eyes of Jimmy Uso, which means the Bloodline is more dangerous than ever. Up next, we have a special celebrity creation. As following his appearance at WrestleMania, Rebel Cause has put together this awesome version of YouTube star I Show Speed. In the absence of a giant bottle costume, the creator has done their best to recreate the Prime Bottle outfit as part of the entrance attire, though once you switch to the ring gear, it includes the outfit that you wore under it. Also included is a second attire, with this one seeing Speed in regular gear as we have him in black pants with the Prime version of the Portugal shirt. To download it, this one can be found by searching for the hashtag RebelCause. Heading down to NXT, we have a brand new star. As you may have seen, that Sol Ruka's attire was recently patched into the game as part of the 1.05 patch update, and putting that attire to good use, Absolution Cause has just released an awesome version of Sol that uses some of the new parts. Alongside Sol's green attire, also included is the attire she wore for her NXT return back in February, with this one seeing her in yellow and pink. Should you wish to download her, then the easiest way to find her is using the hashtag AbsolutionCause. Another star you can add to your women's roster is former WWE Women's Champion Mickey James, as there's been a few versions of Mickey uploaded lately, with one of the best ones being this version from creator Visorealist, as they've released a modern version of Mickey featuring attires from TNA and WWE. The first attire is based on Mickey's time in TNA and sees her wearing a black waistcoat, while the second slot is a WWE version which includes the outfit she wore in 2K22. To download Mickey, this one can be found under the hashtag Visorealist. Moving on, and next up, we have the return of Daniel Bryan, as creator Iconic Cause has released a career pack featuring four different versions of Bryan covering his time in WWE and AEW. The first of these creations is Daniel Bryan 2018, which is a long-haired version of Bryan featuring his Fight For Your Dream shirt. We have Daniel Bryan 2019, which is based on his heel run as the Planet's Champion, with this one including his brown wrestling gear as the first attire and a promo outfit featuring a cardigan as the second. Also available is Daniel Bryan 2019, which features attires from his final run in WWE, with these including his turquoise outfit from WrestleMania 37 as the main attire, while the second one sees a short-haired version of Bryan in blue trunks with a Yes shirt featuring the tree design. The last version included in the pack is Bryan Danielson, which is based on his time in AEW, with this one seeing him with his hair braided and then tied back in a man bun, while the attires include his blue outfit with the Blackpool Combat Club jacket as the main attire and his American Dragon gear as the second. Should you want to download any of these, you can find them all on Community Creations by searching for the hashtag IconicCause. Up next, we have some new legends, starting with the missing members of D-Generation X, as Bankerman has released an Attitude Era version of the Road Dog. Included with this one is three attires. We have Road Dog in his regular attire, with the Roller Dog a Bone shirt as the main outfit, while the second sees two attires split between the ring and the entrance slot, as the ring gear includes Road Dog's DX shirt with the barcode design, while the entrance slot is an early version of Road Dog from 1997, which sees him in black and white pants with a South Park shirt. 
Depending on which one you want to use, you can edit Road Dog in the creation suite and either delete the entrance attire to keep the barcode version or copy over the entrance gear to the ring attire if you want the early one. To go alongside Road Dog and complete the Outlaws, Bagraman has also released a classic version of Billy Gunn, with this one also seeing three attires to choose from. This one includes Billy's pink gear with the Mr. Ash shirt as the main outfit, while the second one includes two of his earlier attires as we have Billy in his blue trunks with the original DX shirt as the entrance attire, while the ring attire features his original gear including his South Park shirt. Getting back to the present, we have a set of brand new championships as following the unveiling of the new design for the renamed WWE World Tag Team Championships, what's the status was quick to recreate the design and get it uploaded to Community Creations where you can find it under the hashtag what's the status. The new championships see the old silver belts replaced with a new golden design that's similar to the redesigned World Heavyweight Championship and based on the rebrand, it sounds like we'll be seeing the SmackDown titles also updated where it's presumed that they'll feature a similar design to the WWE Championship. On the subject of new championships, last week also seen the announcement of a new title that's coming to NXT as it was announced that NXT will be getting a new women's version of the North American Championship. Should you want to get your hands on this new championship, Mr. Creepy Boss has uploaded a great version of the belt to Community Creations which you can find using the hashtag North American. Next up, let's talk arenas, as ahead of next week's NXT Spring Break-In show, arena creator Marty M has released a really cool take on the show as he's created a special outdoor beach arena featuring a new backdrop and some of the beach props from WCW. Alongside the NXT Beach Arena, Marty's also released versions for Raw and SmackDown as well as AEW, so if you're looking for something a little bit different, maybe to use in universe mode, then I would definitely recommend picking up some of these as thanks to the new ramp camera, custom arenas look better than ever. If you do want to pick them up, then you can find all of these arenas under the hashtag MartyM. Also on Raw this week, we've seen the return of Sheamus, who made his first appearance since late last year, with Sheamus reverting back to his old gimmick of the Celtic Warrior. Recreating this in-game, creator Soyel Rue was quick to get Sheamus updated and upload this version which features his new green attire with the Celtic Cross. As Sheamus returned using his old theme, should you want to use this in-game, it is possible to assign him it as Sheamus' old theme is included under the name Sheamus09, though in order to use it, you'll first have to unlock Sheamus in my faction. While that may sound like a pain, you can actually get Sheamus for free when starting out in my faction, as should you create a new faction and choose the free powerhouse pack and this will grant you the Sheamus Persona card that will unlock the classic version of Sheamus on the selection screen and it will also allow you to use his theme music and create an entrance which you can then assign to the modern version. So that's the latest roundup of this week's community creations. Let me know what you made of them in the comments and what you're downloading. And if you have any trouble finding these, I've included a full list of all the creators and the hashtags to search in the video description. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more creation videos. Have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.